All right, welcome everybody. I'm Britta Dimmler and um, I'm Diamond with Young Living and I am so excited to talk about breathing tonight. Uh, this has been an issue that I have fought for years. I've thankfully always been able to breathe, but not always been able to breathe out of my nose. And so this is, um, I think, a really important topic and one that I just want you to know there is hope for you. Um, and there are options, there are always options. And I'm gonna share a couple of uh, new things that I've just discovered recently and a new technique I discovered that has totally helped me. So a um, couple of things. All right, so we're um, gonna talk about Young Living Essential Oils, of course. And if you are familiar with, the, with this company at all, uh, it is truly one of the, it is the standard company for essential oils. We have set the, we have set the stage for them. We have set the standards um, and we're very, very particular and precise about where we get our products. And that goes from a bottle of oil to a supplement, to a cleaning product, to a personal care product. Um, you know, we have over, oh, gosh, I think over 600 products now. Um, and we do not, I don't use necessarily all 600 of them every day by any means, but I will tell you that over my 16 years of using Young Living products, I have expanded from a few bottles of oil <laughs> to some supplements and to the personal care products to certainly Thieves Cleaner and other things. And each time I bring in a new product, I experience it, but I also am allowing my body to heal. Because if you know anything about our world today, um, we are full, uh, our world is full of toxins. And when we are exposed to, to toxins in the world, we breathe it in and it becomes toxic in our body. And I'm just going to give you a quick one example. So um, I mentioned I have, I've had breathing issues for a long, a long time. And I've realized over the years that some of it is definitely an emotional relation. So um, probably 10 years ago now, we had a pond in our backyard um, that I had paid to get fixed. And I wanted it a long way, but so we'll say we, I wanted it to go this way. And when they fixed the pond, they went this way. They went the wrong way. And I looked at that pond for, that was done the wrong way for probably three years. And I got sicker and sicker because every time I look out my window to do the dishes and while I was doing dishes, I'd look at that pond and I'd be like, oh, that's not right. That is not right. And I was at a retreat one weekend, um, year, a few years later, and we were talking about how our emotions affect us and how our body, you know, and, and we've talked, I've shared in other classes, our brain is like the librarian or the, and it fi uh, card catalog files emotions that we don't deal with somewhere in our body. And um, my body, my brain, for whatever reason, was putting all this aggravation and frustration and whatever else. I think it was going right to my lungs. Lungs also emotionally um, are grief. And so if you're grieving and you guys, again, we did a class on, on grief just um, in July of 2023. And there are lots of different things we can grieve over. And so, you know, it's all of that. Maybe I was grieving at the time. I never really thought about this until now. Maybe I was grieving what I thought that pond would look like, right? So it wasn't just frustration. It was grieving that it wasn't right. And we finally decided we have to fix this pond. <laughs> and so I paid several thousand dollars more, fixed the pond, and my breathing got better. It didn't get fixed. Um, and then we moved away and I thought it was even, you know, better than had a similar experience. So here with the fence, it was going to go in wrong. And I, I looked at it for 24 hours this time. It only took me 24 hours. And I said, no, you have to fix the fence. I will, I will even pay to fix the fence, but you have to fix the fence. Cause I didn't want to go through that again. So that is one of the things that I've realized. The other thing is just <clears throat> this summer, last month, actually, we went to Utah and on the way to Utah from Iowa, so we drove through Nebraska, we drove through Wyoming, got to Utah, and my husband and I noticed less and less chemtrails in the sky. So if you know anything about chemtrails, we used to just think it was like the exhaust of a jet, right? That um, you'd see the jets go by and you'd see the little streak of, of kind of smoke exhaust in the sky. Didn't think much of it growing up. But if you go out on a nice sunny day, at least here in Iowa, <clears throat> um, oftentimes you will see chemtrails. You will see those smoke lines all over crisscrossing. Sometimes it almost looks like a checkerboard up there. 
Uh, and those are not natural things. Those are affecting our health. Um, if you've noticed, one of the other things I've noticed this summer is there are not very many bugs in central Iowa or in, um, I went to Tennessee actually in June and I did not have to wash my windshields one time all the way to Tennessee and all the way back because we didn't have bugs. But when we went to Utah, we, about every time we stopped, we had to, we had to wash our windshields because they're not spraying the chemtrails out there. So why does this affect our health? Because we're breathing that stuff in. Um, I was stuffy before we left Iowa again, and it's not just chemtrails. Farmers are spraying things on their, on their crops. You know, the, the landscapers are out spraying stuff in the yards. Cause you know, we heaven forbid if anybody had a dandelion, right? Um, I was joking actually with my neighbors that you probably hate my yard because it's full of dandelions because we don't spray. Um, but you know, and pet dander and all the other things that we're exposed to. So we went to Utah and um, I got away from a lot of the environmental things here. I was not as connected to my computer or, or my, my internet either. So this isn't Wi-Fi definitely plays a part in this. And within a couple of days of being in Utah, I could breathe and I could breathe through my nose. Okay. Which does not happen oftentimes here in Iowa. So I really, other than moving, <laughs> I've had to go, okay, what else can I do? Right. Because my family is here in Iowa and I don't want to necessarily move across the country. Um, and, and in part because it's, it's coming there too. I mean, they're certainly not immune to some of these things. So we need to talk about what options we have. And that is one of the things that um, Young Living is full of options um, from, you know, the first thing I would recommend you do is that if you're using um, commercial cleaners or things that you're buying at the store, first thing to do is change out your cleaner to Thieves Household Cleaner. And I did not grab a bottle, um, but Thieves Household Cleaner will clean everything in your home and you will, it does not bring in any extra chemicals. You will be able to actually breathe easier, smelling it and breathing that in. Because every time we breathe in those chemicals, it's coating our cells with toxins, right? Um, another easy switch is get rid of the air fresheners in your home. Uh, you can get obviously get a diffuser that's the easiest way to do it and you fill it with water you put a couple of drops of oil in or up to 10 drops of oil in depending on how big your room is and you let it go and you can diffuse all day long other super easy ways to to um, change what you're using and make things smell good of course are spray bottles or roller bottles right and we'll talk tonight about some options of oils you can put in there based on what you're trying to support so if you're trying to support respiratory which we're going to talk about you can i'll give you some combinations you can make um, so those are two really easy things of just making simple changes just your cleaning products right getting rid of the the chemicals getting in some, some clean, actual um, health supporting, immune supporting pro, um, products. Um, oils, you know, again, can be used to keep your, the air in your home clean, um, adding cleansing aromas to your home. So place diffusers in high traffic areas of your home or in areas where you spend prolonged periods of time. So if you're in your office a lot, put a diffuser up there. Even if you only have one, you can put it and carry it to your office. You can carry it to your bedroom, right? Or you carry it to, from your bedroom to the living room if that's where you're at. And having those running all the times. Um, again, it just helps to give those targeted purifying effects. So what are some products that you could use? And you guys, you, the people that are on this call tonight, I know you have options and ideas. So I would love for you to type in what's your favorite product to support your respiratory system. First one I'm going to talk about is peppermint because peppermint oil, this is helpful for breathing. Um, you can add this to your diffuser. You can um, use it to enhance the mood of, an, of another oil or the, enhance another oil. So it'll bring like more of the properties out and together. Peppermint, if you are stuffy, put a drop. And of course, you'd want to use the Vitality, right? So it's same, it's same oil, different bottle. But you put a drop of peppermint oil. You might want it the first time. Um, I'm just going to tell you the easiest, best, probably best way to do it is put a drop in your hand because see like there I got two right and then you can dip your finger in and stick it on your tongue stick the tongue your tongue to the roof of your mouth and you will literally feel that aroma and, and the properties of the peppermint not only does it freshen your breath but you will feel it cleansing your sinuses and clearing them out 
and you'll feel kind of all, all the way up even into the top of your head. Now, if your sinuses are stuffy, um, peppermint's a pretty intense oil, I will tell you. But again, you can take a little bit of it and you wanna go clear down here on like your cheekbones, right? The way down from your eyes. And then you could do it even up above. I would probably go above your eyebrows because those, those fumes, those ar aromas will come all over and get in your eyes. Now, oil and water doesn't mix. Oil and essential, essential oil and water don't mix. Water actually drives it into the body faster. So if you get oil in your eye, or let's say um, you put it on your throat or even, you know, somewhere on your body and you're like, oh, this is really intense, right? It's hot or it just feels really strong. You want to use a mixing oil or a fatty oil. So something that you cook with would be great. Young Living offers V6, which is six different vegetable oils. And I love that because it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. It absorbs quickly into your skin. All of our massage oils do, and you don't feel greasy afterwards. So it just is a really great oil to slow down the absorption of the essential oil and make it more comfortable for you. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, uh, Renee mentioned LLP, which is lemon, lavender, and peppermint. So these, that is a great combination of oils, um, that are, they're all single oils. Many of us, um, either put them into a roller bottle or a spray bottle, you know, maybe equal drops of each, or you can just do like two or three drops into a diffuser of each one. And it is great for the, the springtime and summertime, um, annoyances that we get when we're outside, right? When we can't breathe, we get congested, we get stuffy, all of those things. Um, and it does smell great too. Yes. The other one that just came out um, this spring, and I guess I don't have the right label one, um, is called Season Essentials. And this actually has lemon, lavender, and peppermint in it. And I believe it also has spearmint and what else? Um, actually, I have it right here. Goldenrod. Goldenrod. Thank you, Alice. So now let me tell you about goldenrod. Some of you might be like, oh, I'm allergic to goldenrod. You're allergic to the pollen. Um, but this when they when they distill it, they it changes the properties of it. So most people, even if you have an allergy to an oil, uh, most people can use, I'm sorry, an allergy to a plant, most people can use essential oils, which is really quite a phenomenal thing, right? Um God really created these amazingly. So this is a great blend. Again, you can put it on topically. You can take this internally, the season essentials. A lot of people love to diffuse it. Um, I have noticed if I'm stuffy, again, I'll just kind of put it on my around my eyes or over my sinuses and um, even kind of swipe it under my nose. It's not as intense as straight peppermint because it's got those other oils to um, kind of dilutes it down. And this is super, super effective, right? So I have not um, put it on under my tongue before on my tongue. So I don't know how that, how it tastes, but it's really effective. Okay. All right. Um, frankincense. This is another oil that's a favorite for applying to the chest during winter when needing extra support. Um, it's great. It's great for skin as well. So it's going to really help soothe your skin. Uh, frankincense is great for really when you're not sure what to use. Um, but you're, you're kind of fighting something more major, let's say, right? Frankincense is one of those general oils. Um, biblically, they would give, they gave it to the Christ child. They, they used it for Kings and they said, it's good from anything head to toe. So anything, you know, if you can, if you can afford it, this would be the go-to all the time. Um, obviously lavender today in today's world would probably be a much more economical choice, but frankincense is phenomenal. And then we have eucalyptus. Um, Young Living actually has like three or four different eucalyptuses. Okay, so which one should you use? Whichever one you have. If you have them all, which one do you love the smell of most? Um, I personally, when I'm dealing with kind of the breathing issues and really more congestion, I really like eucalyptus globulus personally. Um, I think it smells more like the eucalyptus, like when you go to the store, you smell dry, dried eucalyptus. That's more of 
um, how I think of, of, you know, eucalyptus globulus, it's great for just the opening the airways and opening up your chest, easy breathing. Um, eucalyptus radiata is another one. And, and it seems like in the fall, we usually get one of one of those, if not both um, at different times for free it, or with a gift or per, gift with purchase. But radiata, I oftentimes will think more of um, I like to use it when I'm maybe exposed to more radiation. Okay. So think about it. I'm traveling and going through an airport or I'm spending a lot of time around Wi-Fi um, or, you know, 5G or something like that. It's so radiata is, is more, um, or if there's been an exposure of some kind, right. Uh, um, some kind of a leakage or something, the radiata would be good. Now, would radiata work for my, my cough or my cold? Yes, it would still work. Okay, I just don't like the smell of it personally as much as globulus. Um, and then if you want something a little bit more gentle, eucalyptus blue is a really great um, eucalyptus oil that has a little, it's a little softer, I think, in the smell and maybe a little gentle, feeling gentler on your skin. Okay, cypress, that's another oil. And I don't have it with me, but it's an, um, you can get it in a big bottle. It's green, it's from the cypress tree. Cypress is a really gentle oil. It has camphene in it as a constituent. It's one of the constituents. And camphene is commonly used in herbal cough supplement, suppressant, sorry. So cypress is an excellent oil to use in your diffuser or to use it as a chest rub. Certainly anything that you use on, you know, upper body, if, you, if you're like, I don't like the smell or it's a little intense, put it on your feet because your feet will um, definitely benefit. Your lung, if, you, if you're not familiar with Vitaflex, reflexology points, your lungs are right here in the middle, um, kind of down from your, from your pointer finger, right? So it's right in this area. And then on your foot, it's also right below your second toe, okay? It's kind of in the middle of, your, of the ball of your foot. Great place. Um, your sinuses actually are right here as well. So in your first and second fingers, um, right at the base of them. So great place to just put oils, right? Or just rub oils on your hands, rub them on your feet. Everywhere is fine because they're going to go everywhere in our body. So Cypress is a great, more gentle oil. It's also really good for circulation. So it's going to keep things moving, get your blood moving in the body as well. And then we have a blend. Um, we have Raven and Raven, or uh, Raven and RC. So and again, I don't know why I didn't grab those. Um, RC is um, similar. It's more uh, mild than Raven, and it's an essential oil blend created to help with specifically with breathing. And then Raven is, I kind of think of um, RC is like the mama and Raven is the papa, right? So it's like the... Um, more of the power punch. So when you, if you're just having a little cough or a little um, cold congestion, or you know your kids, you have um, younger kids, RC is a great one. And and generally, you could probably put it on straight. Although I love to um, just put a drop in my hand, add a drop of uh, Vix, uh, Vix, a V6, and rub it together, and then smooth it. One thing to remember if you're dealing with the lungs, do the front. And also do your back, right? Because your lungs go on both sides of your body. So when my little one, my kids, when they were little, would get coughs or colds or whatever, you know, just that seasonal stuff. I would put it in my hands, rub my hands together, and I would just kind of circle it on their bodies, on their chest and on their back. And really um, just covering both sides of that was very gentle for them and also just kind of helped open those airways. So Raven is a blend of Raven Sara lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus radiata. And again, it's known for healthy breathing and opening airways as well, which is, we all need that, right? Um, another great one, a uh, great oil is pine oil. This is a single oil. It's enhanced when diffused with eucalyptus globulus. So you could combine those together. Um, Pine is just a great, it's a very opening, invigorating, but it also helps to ground us, pine does, right? Because you think about these pine trees and these, um, well, really any evergreen tree, they go into the, they go pretty deep into the ground and just, we get a lot of those grounding benefits. So if you're feeling kind of floaty or spacey, which often happens when you're not breathing well, um, then it can help bring you down and also helps to oxygenate the cells. Okay. So it's going to bring in more oxygen. 
A couple other real uh, favorites of mine. This one is called Dorado Azul, and it's from Ecuador. Not Some people don't know about this one. And this is one, I really like it. It's been distilled and used medicinally since 2006. Um, it's a favorite for diffusing and using in chest blends. Um, Dorado Azul kind of gets, it's, well, I, let's see. No, this isn't that. Um, it kind of gets deeper into the lungs, I think. Um, and really helps to support them. If you're not sure, my, my sister actually has a, a kind of a cough that is, uh, she just feels like she needs to clear her throat a lot, right? So it's kind of that phlegmy cough. And um, I encouraged her to use Dorado Azul. And then Hyssop is the other one. This is a Bible oil. Um, this actually is a bush that we can grow here in Iowa. I used to have a Hyssop um, plant at my old house. And uh, we would use this when my, for, we call, uh, when my daughter uh, was going through chemo, we called it her chemo cough. So it was kind of that, I, I guess, kind of phlegmy, um, just, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, just like there was something there, but it was really dry and she couldn't get it out kind of a thing. And this would always settle that down. And so again, I would just put a drop on my hands and I would just rub it right over her chest. Usually, I, I think I usually tried to do the back as well if I could get to it. Um, so either one of these, Dorado Azul or Hyssop uh, are kind of those um, hidden gems that we have that we don't talk about nearly as much, I don't think, but are both really, really good for respiratory. And then of course we have breathe again, roll on. So if you want an easy button uh, and just something in, in a roll on form, uh, it's uh, Young Living has created this for us already. So this isn't it, but you would literally just take it and you can again, roll it on your forehead. You can roll it on your chest uh, and then just keep moving. Roll ons, people often like them because then they don't have to touch it, um, touch the oil and get their, you know, get it on their hands, especially if they're not fond of the smell. Uh, you can put it on your body and then your hands are still free, um, free of smell. Okay. So that's a great option for that. Um, oh, breathe again is also excellent to use before, during, and after a workout. So it can, again, open your airway so you get more oxygen in and um, hopefully get to uh, have better performance even during your workout. <clears throat> okay, next is the cough drops. And I don't have any here with me. <laughs> I just put the bag away. Was not thinking that through. So we have cough drops. Hopefully you know that. Um, the Thieves cough drops are great to soothe sore throats, relieve coughs, or cool nasal passages. So the, the cough drops has the combines the Thieves blend with lemon and peppermint essential oils. And these sweet, spicy drops taste great and provide effective relief in combination with natural menthol. So the, the white package of cough drops is more of the peppermint flavored. And then we also have the throat lozenges, which looks like a Thieves, um, it's kind of a darker package. And these are infused with peppermint, lemon, and thieves also, but I think they have more of the thieves flavor in them. So these um, provide extra strength and effectiveness for lasting results you can feel. So I think that um, the, the lozenges taste a little more cinnamony and clove. So they're more of that earthy, um, I guess that earthy taste, I think. And if people are, you know, the typical person who, maybe it's coming from um, over-the-counter cough drops, you know, that really are not very effective, that are more sugar than they are anything else. They probably would um, like the Thieves cough drops that taste more like peppermint a little more than the lozenges that are more earthy. But let them try them. Um, oftentimes, I like to just, uh, I actually here, I carry a little bag of samples with me, okay? And um, if I'm out and about, I usually, of course, this one doesn't have them, it doesn't look like, but I usually will have a few cough drops with me in this, or I really like to repurpose the Thieves Mint tins, which the mints are also another great way to uh, calm the cough or calm your throat down. Um, and so I reuse those, those tins when they're empty of the mints and I stick my cough drops in there so that I can have them at, at the ready anytime and carry them in my purse. All right, um, another great product, 
How many of you have been using the Thieves Chest Rub? Anybody? Okay, so this is um, a great natural way to conquer the common cold or seasonal colds. This is a 100% plant-based formula. It delivers over-the-counter strength with hands-free application for quick relief you can count on. So you literally are going to just open it up. You can see hopefully the little holes there in it and you literally just rub it on your chest. Um, again, you can put it on your back as well. Now this does have, I believe, coconut oil in it. So just know that um, it can stain your clothes a little bit because of the, the fatty oil. So oftentimes if I feel like I need this and I'm going to bed, I will roll this on or kind of rub it all over my chest and I put a washcloth down and then put my pajama shirt on um, because the washcloth will absorb some of that, the greasy, and it doesn't get on my clothes then. So um, this has soothing aromatic vapors and a powerful combination of camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus. So the, the Thieves Chest Rub helps reduce cough, and it's safe to use on family members um, ages two and up. Now, if it's under two, you make your own, your own, own decisions, um, you know, and maybe you would just do a little bit or put it on their feet or something, okay? So you, can, you, you know your kids, right? And you know what they're, what they're able to handle. But great option for, for the littles in our life and as well as ourselves so that we can just breathe easy. Um, a DIY chest rub, if you want to make your own, maybe you don't like something in this one. So you can combine an ounce of Young Living Lavender Lotion or V6 Massage Oil. So an ounce of that um, with about 10 drops of the essential oils of your choice. So maybe you would want to add Dorado Azul and um, Hyssop to it, or you could add Raven and RC or um, eucalyptus and, and peppermint, you know, whatever you want. Um, and then just roll it on your chest or put it, you know, again, you can, if it's lotion, I guess, um, you would probably just dab a little bit on your hands and rub, rub it on your chest, uh, before sleeping or any time that you're in need of extra breathing support. So don't think, oh, I don't have the chest rub, get the chest rub. It's great. Um, but if you, you know, if you have something of your own at home that you can use, that's fine too. All right, a couple other supplements. Hopefully you guys know about this one, Inner Defense. This is kind of a godsend in my life, I think. Um, so this is, uh, it has uh, immune supporting oils like oregano, thyme, and the Thieves Blend. These are capsules that strengthen the body systems by creating an unfriendly environment for yeast and fungus. It improves digestion because those oils actually help the body to digest better and, and things to move through the system uh, and fights invasive viruses and bacteria. So this is inner defense. These are capsule capsules, um, like a gelatin capsule, okay? Uh, it's, it is coated, I believe, so it gets into the stomach and, certain, and maybe even down. Um, I think it can, it can withstand some of the stomach acid. Let me say that. And so this is great for, I love this when I'm, when I feel like maybe I'm coming down with something or I'm fighting a cold or something like that. Um, this is one of the few products, you know, my, when your kids, your kids may grow up with these products, but sometimes they think they're a little smarter than you. And so they won't take them very often. This is one that my kids will take because they know that it works. I, at the directions say you can take one soft gel um, daily, if you want to do as prevention, or you can take it um, one, three to five times daily when needed. So this is one I tend to take it more just kind of as needed. Um, or if I say I'm going to be traveling, I might take it every day just to support my body while I'm traveling, because I know that I'm going to be under more stress, right? I'm not in my home. I'm not in my routine. So I might need a little bit more support. And then I may not take it again for a while. So I love this one. If you're looking for something that has um, immune stimulants, uh, as well as some me uh, melatonin to help you relax, we have um, Immupro, I just blanked on the name. So Immupro, are, these are chewable tablets. They're packed with powerful immune stimulants like wolfberry polysaccharides and beta-glucan. And these uh, tablets also contain crucial minerals of zinc, copper, selenium, and some melatonin to assist in getting a restful night of sleep. 
And maybe it, you take it um, even during the day, if you're, you know, you're coming down with something and you need to rest, but your mind is going a mile a minute. You have all the things you think about. Um, so these are chewables. I know a lot of moms that will cut these in halves or quarters and give it to the, even their little um, people when they are maybe fighting something, um, a cold or whatever, or if they've been exposed to something, they'll say they were at daycare and you know they call later and say, hey, Johnny had blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, this might be a good thing to give to your little people. Um, hyssop and myrtle would be, um, myrtle especially would be very gentle. It's an oil as well. That would be gentle for little people. Um, and it's very gentle on the skin. Another thing that Young Living just came out with, I don't know if you've tried these or not. These are immu gummies. So if you're, if you have the kids that can't um, take pills or, you know, they don't want to chew up a tablet, these are literal gummies. Um, they are really yummy. Um, they're great for immune and respiratory health. They actually have elderberry or oh, I'm sorry, elderflower and they're lime um, flavored gummies. So elderflower and lime flavored. Okay, they look like this, they're little squares. Um, these offer immune support with the, without the hassle of a capsule. They're packed, um, let's see, with power and flavor, they're um, naturally support your immune system by helping to maintain key immune cells. Immu gummies combine one and three beta glucans and elderberries to pro uh, provide delicious support for all your breathing and respiratory and immune system. Um, it also supports the gut barrier integrity and function, which is a key complement of gut and immune health. Uh, it gives you antioxidants as well, and it has zero added sugar, which is, makes it great for everybody in the family, okay? They're also vegan if, you're, um, if you have any of those uh, considerations, and um, they really are made for any age, okay? So as long as baby could chew or you could um, take it really um, little bit, little pieces. Um, these would be for, for prevention, definitely, and also to build the immune system. Um, the directions are two gummies a day, but I will tell you, you may want to take four or six or eight, um, but the more you take, the more uh, it works on your gut health, and you may have a, um, some loose stools if you eat like half the bag, because so that's what I, I haven't done that, but I know some people who have. So try to stick with the two. Um, it certainly, if you're, you know, if you're feeling like I have been exposed to something and I'm really fighting something, you know, um, obviously it won't hurt you to take more, but the recommended dose is two a day. Okay. All right. And then we can't talk about the immune system or the respiratory system without talking about this powerhouse, right? Hopefully you guys know about Nixia Red. We have it in a bottle. We have it in packets as well. This truly is the powerhouse. This is nutrition for our bodies. It supports every single system in our body. Um, and really it helps the cells of the body to, to, um, well, to fight the invaders. It helps to replenish um, the good guys in our bodies. Um, it just, it's, it's such a phenomenal product. So it's high in antioxidants, which means it helps support our body's natural defense against aging. Um, the antioxidants are also important to immune function, uh, free radicals damage your immune cells and inhibit communication between the cells. So fueling your body with antioxidants is going to protect and fortify your immune system as well as your respiratory system. Uh, it's actually a literal, literally nutrition for your cells. And so um, there's actually a challenge coming up. It starts on Monday. If you're in my group and you want to join, um, that is it's an amazing kind of body reset where uh, we flood our bodies. You need 102 ounces for four weeks of Ningxia Red, and it floods your bodies with nutrition and helps to um, take away the cravings for sugar and flour and white flour and the things that are not feeding our bodies. And so if you want to reset, um, message me and we can chat about that uh, later. So it also gives extra vitamin B or vitamin C. Uh, it has actually 250 times the recommended daily allowance per serving and a proprietary blend to ensure bioavailability, which means our body can actually use it. It's not just going through our system. Um, 
So Nick Sure Red is a great option. And then we also have Super C and we have this in a capsule, cap, uh, tablet form, I guess it is, and a chewable form. So for, um, I like the chewables. I, I think they remind me of sweet tarts um, without all the sugar and all the junk. So if you if you kind of are in one of those days that you're like, oh, I just want something a little bit tart and um, tangy, you know, something to chew. I love the capsule or the tap the chewables for that. So Super C is a unique combination of citrus essential oils, citrus bioflavonoids, and whole food natural vitamin C in a chewable tablet or in the um, caplet tablet, I guess. Um, it's a delicious way to get your daily dose of vitamin C without having to swallow pills, if the chewable or the um, tablet. So I don't know about you, but I just talked about a whole lot of things. Now, let me tell you one other thing that I learned um, just since convention. So just in the last few weeks, um, because again, I we went to Utah, I was able to breathe. I came home around all the chemicals, back in the stress of life, because stress does definitely affect our immune system and our respiratory system. And I started to get a little stuffy again. And um, I happened to read an email that um, a friend sent me um, and she talked about breathing and why it's important. It's so important to breathe through your nose, right? So you breathe in through your nose um, because, you know, that's part of our immune system actually and our respiratory because the, the hairs in your nose and the different um, parts of it will filter out the bad things, right? So if you have, and I've been a mouth breather now for probably 10 years, but so I'm trying to breathe more through my nose and, but it's hard to do when you're all stuffy. And so one of the things she talked about with that is to, that you take a deep breath and you hold your nose, right? And then, you, so, and then you just turn your head side to side while you're holding your nose, like trying to get your, your, um, your ears over to your shoulders as much as possible. So everybody do it with me. I'm going to do it with you right now. Okay. So take a deep breath, hold your nose. do it four or five, six times. You guys, every time I do that, I can breathe. And it's like my nose, I can feel my ears pop too. Cause I kind of, I think I'm breathing out maybe as I'm, as I'm doing that a little bit, you know, and I can feel my ears pop. So I get drainage and I can breathe. If you got nothing else out of this class, I hope that you will try that because that is an incredible, easy, um, option for people and it doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is take a breath and then tip your head, right? And it also reminds me that, oh yeah, I need to go get my, or I need to probably put oils on my neck because I'm a little stiff, but what a great option. So if you have people in your life that they think, oh, those oils are a little bit woo woo because that was me at the beginning, talk to them about that. Say, okay, you don't want to try my oils? Let's just try this. Because the more value we can bring to people, the more they will start to trust us and they'll be open to our hearing us the next time that we maybe bring oils up or we bring up the gummies or whatever, right? So I just really want to encourage you that it's not just about, you know, hey, you got to use this oil. And this is, and this, this one is the magic one for you because I don't know what the magic one is for you. Um, sometimes we have to try several. Sometimes we try one and we're like, oh, hallelujah, it just works, right? It's amazing. Um, so it, but we also have other options I want you to know. Now, if you are brand new and you're like, I want some of these, these oils and these options, and um, I'm interested in the oils, we have special collections of oils with a diffuser. They just came out with a Make a Shift collection. It comes with the diffuser. It comes with peppermint that we talked about and lavender. It comes with thieves and purification as blends. So both of those would be great for the immune system and the respiratory system. And then rollers is deep relief, which is great for um, discomfort and stress away. You guys, if you think stress doesn't affect your body, you're wrong. It affects your immune system and it affects your respiratory system, certainly. So all of those oils actually would be great for these issues. That kit is $112. If you talk to whoever shared this video with you or invited you to the class tonight, they can give you a coupon for or a code for 10% off. So it takes it to about a hundred bucks and you can get started with um, oils. If you think, well, I'm kind of, I'm interested in the supplements. We have a Ningxia Red collection with a couple of bottles, um, 30 packets of singles. 
And I think it's a lime and an orange oil, again, $112, or, and we can give you a discount code, takes it to about $100. And maybe you want to add a packet of gummies to it. You can do that, right? You can add other things to it. Um, or if you just want to start with gummies, you can start with the gummies. And then, of course, we have our thieves collection, too. And we have several different collections, I will say. But I just want to talk about the best, the best deals to get started, okay? Um, the Thieves Collection, it gives you the household cleaner, which will literally clean everything in your house. It gives you, oh, it gives you the kitchen and bath scrub as well. So if you think, oh, I have this little stain here, or I just need a little extra um, scrubbing power, they, they have the kitchen and bath scrub. We have dish soap in that. Um, there's a bottle that you can use to spray and your laundry soap. So basically, you literally are cleaning out all the chemicals, or you could take out all the chemicals and bring in healthy clean chemicals because what we wash our clothes in is what's on my skin and what I'm breathing every single day. It comes with veggie wash too. Oh, I don't see that over there. So yay, it comes with veggie wash too. So you can clean your vegetables, which is phenomenal. So that's also the, this collection, the make a shift collection. It's $100, $112 with the code. It takes to hundred bucks. That's a simple, easy switch that most people could afford if they see the value. And so if that's you, get back with us. We, not only do you get started with those, some great products, but you get started with us. Um, and whether that's me or Alice or one of our other amazing people that loves to share, we have classes every week. We have um, opportunities to join other gatherings and educational spots every week as well. And truly we want to benefit and bless you with knowledge and with um, empower you to use oils and products so that no matter what happens, including burns, um, you can make good choices and take care of most things at home. So get back with whoever shared this video with you and let them know that you're ready to get started. And I can't wait to welcome you into our community and um, hear your stories soon as well. Have a great night.